So hello and uh, a lot of people will argue the case for how good things are blindly telling people that they're good and they're productive and useful when clearly there are nefarious reasons uh, behind it and anybody living in the, the world of thinking that everything that people do Every, every government does is good and they, they've got your best interests at heart is deluded. Digital anything is not good. Digital ID especially where you have to have this ID for doing anything is part of the well the, the agenda and of course comes along with digital currency which is what they want. And you can't have one without the other. Good news, we don't have either of them yet. Unless you fight this, it's going to come in. Now this, talking about digital ID, and the government keep on going on about this. They're saying that it not be compulsory. You know, you don't have to do any of this stuff. You don't have to, like we did in the last few years with everything, you know. Oh no, we recommend it, but you don't have to do it if you don't want to, but you can't do this if you don't. I, you know, well, I'll leave it to your imagination. You, you've, you've been here for three years, you know what went on. Um, but this is also quite important because it does affect people uh, out there because it's going to be, you know, you're going to have to have this digital ID, even though it's not compulsory, to access services and I'm thinking here it does mention benefits HMRC company's house environmental renting your home getting a job driving licenses you'll need this one login basically the digital ID one login for any government services and of course they're going to try and do it next year. Now, they haven't changed their minds. They are continuing to roll this out. There are two big departments in the government that are going to be using this system. And, of course, as you know, one of those is the DWP. Uh, everyone registered to use HM Revenue uh, for the first time will do so by creating a one login account. At the same time, the tax agency will be begin to um, migrate existing users. So this is just for people that are new. They will get their IDs straight away. And then those who are already registered will have to transfer over. We're going to hear all the comments about, oh, it's a good thing, you know, you can prove who you are, you, you live here. But you have to remember that no, nothing that they do is for your health and benefit. Uh, it does follow along with the UN Agenda 2030. It's also part of the WEF, World Economic Forum. Please don't take my word for it. Go and research one of those things, they are readily available. But digital ID and digital currency are the two things that are most dangerous. Once you have digital ID and digital currency linked together, your life will be controlled. The real world that we live in. So digital ID is on the way. And, of course, if we don't do anything about it, we don't object, and we don't complain, and we comply, then, you know, what else can I say, apart from, well, we told you so. So that's the story. Um, it was uh, quite an important one. So there we go. That's it for today. Have a good day. Catch you later.